Greetings, 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 and it's so good to be here with you. This is Lisa. Of course, it is not Heel Talk Tuesday since it's not 12 o'clock at noon, but today I went on at uh, noontime and I said I will go back live this afternoon, and so I'm keeping my promise. I want to make sure. Hi, Ray. How are you? I uh, hope you're feeling better. It's so good to have you here. Um, everyone who else who's popping on, uh, I hope you are doing well and the holidays. Uh, hi, Angela. Um, so I, I wanted to talk about what I started speaking today at noon about giving in, giving up and giving forward. Then I got to, because I was in an event and all these ladies were there, so much feeling overwhelmed that so many were saying, I'm giving up. And someone talked about the same thing and I'm sitting there and I started laughing because she said, you know what? I give in. I, I can't do this anymore. And so the question was, what is it that we are giving into? What is it that we give up? And how can we pay it forward and give without feeling bad, feeling overwhelmed, with feeling stressed? So the holidays, uh, I know it's like a stretch. We're coming to the end of the year. And do you feel this? Do you feel overwhelmed with the holiday parties? Do you feel overwhelmed? Uh, needing to bring your accounting to the end, work, kids, family, gifts, whatever it is, right? So what can we do to feel better? I had a client today and she said, because she's been working on weight and everything, she's coming to a level that she thinks it's a plateau. And you know, just like climbing anything in life, we have to come up, come up, come up in order for us to be able to slide. And the slide part is, it's like the success. And more people have fear of success than fear of failure. And we like to stay in the comfort zone. So here's my question to you. How, what do you do? What have you done for yourself to bring yourself up and climb up and start chuckling and giving yourself that boost to keep going in order for you to slide and keep your keep your goal and give, give and give, give to you instead of anyone else. So here's what we do. The first thing I want you to do is have something in mind and realizing the holidays are around and you will feel overwhelmed. You are doing so much and you're probably saying yes to a lot of things. With that in mind, also remember, everything that you do is a choice. You can say no, and the consequences will be that someone will be upset with you and everything. But if you say yes to them, that means you may not be saying yes to you, to your comfort, to your, um, to your relaxation, and feeling overwhelmed when you feel that, Remember, I chose this. The moment we decide, when we say, I chose this, I said yes, then there is no giving in and you can't give up because you chose to do that. So you are giving away. You're giving away a piece, a time, an hour, a decision. And that means you're in total control. When we are in total control of what it is that we choose to do, bingo. That means I'm not doing it for anyone else. I can't blame anyone else. There is nothing that is triggering me except me. 
Self-care comes by evoking and understanding what is it that we say yes to. Embracing it means I embrace my decision. I embrace the choice that I make. I embrace my decision to give, to be, to do, to take them away, to do this assignment, whatever. And the last thing is when we want to evolve, I'm giving. I am giving with love. I'm giving with my heart. I'm giving because I want to. And that is the gift of giving. So today's message is this. When you feel overwhelmed, instead of giving in or giving up, give away and feel good about yourself. Um, how do you like my uh, sign? I love it. I love it. I have one of those signs that I made and it is uh, one of them. Look. And um, we have it outside our healing center. We have rebranded ourselves and every time I look at that sign which I want you to see it it is this beautiful I call it the mala and the the eye the the circle on the top it's uh, as if it is our mind it is pure consciousness because it is yellow, it is bright, it is the core. And then if you look there, there's the heart, the beautiful heart. And the lotus, the lotus which is our core. And the lotus usually, if you know anything about the lotus, it's usually upside down in the muddiest of places. And I think so many of us are like that. We get so bung, bugged with certain things. We are so focused in certain things and we forget how beautiful it is once we turn around and blossom. Blossom to the beauty. Blossom to all that there is. And, and if you see that there's circles of grayness. And I like to call that grayness deeper of our subconscious mind that is so much in the knowing and yet gray because we haven't tapped into it. Once we, through hypnosis, through guided visualization, through inner connection and doing the work as we tap within to heal, this entire healing begins when we become clear of all the fogginess and anything that was not clear on our mind, the third eye, we tap it, we open it, we expand, expand in mind, expand in our heart, expand so that we can evolve. And that is where evoking, which is turning that lotus, embracing the heart and evolving comes to. So that is the logo I created and Every time I look at it, it's like I see something deeper because there's three layers. It's like a 3D. If I bring it closer, you might see that there is another layer into that one. You may not see it, but if you look, you'll see there is three different malas or layers that are into it. And I think I am, that's my BS, which is my belief system, that we are so simple and yet intricate. We as humans are golden. And healing comes when we choose to embrace all of us. The dark the shadow, the light, the heart, the ugliness, when we tilt. And life should never be about giving in or giving up. It's about giving within. The moment you give to yourself, 
that you come to accept and appreciate yourself. You realize what a gift you are. And with that, hi Lala, hi Nora. And with that, I want you to know that from this day forward, you come to accept and appreciate yourself because you matter. We're not doing anything for anyone else. And every time that you do something for anyone else, you feel good. And that's the giving. Giving when you want to. Give to yourself as well. Hi, Kelly. Thank you for being here. If uh, this message resonated with you, share it, like it. And if you are here live, uh, I see some people here. Go ahead and make a comment. Or you can just say live or number one. And if you're watching this on a replay, and if it resonates with you, you would like to share it with someone else, by all means, do so. Thank you for being here. God bless you. And may the universal light be with you. This is Lisa, and this has been Heal Talk Tuesday. See you next week. Bye-bye.